G'day everyone, it's Jeff Weir here from bikereview.com.au Another sunny winter's day on the central coast of New South Wales, it doesn't get much better than this. So I'm having a bit of fun today, a uh, bit different. Last time I spoke to you I was out on the Victory Octane and this week I've been testing the Victory Highball. Very different motorcycle and I'm actually having a lot of fun on it. Something different for me as most of you know me, I'm a sports bike sort of a guy, uh, racing background, but I'm really enjoying the cruises these days uh, as I just hit 41 years old. I guess four kids do that to you, but I'll tell you what, it's great fun riding around on this thing. Uh, it's got bad attitude, as you can see straight away. Uh, matte black paint, uh, everything's blacked out. This has got the, uh, the pipes on it, the open pipes. It's really, really loud. I'll start it for you in a minute. You get 106 cubic inch 50 degree Freedom V Twin, 45 millimeter throttle body, fuel injected of course, six speed gearbox, wet clutch, and 106 foot pounds of arm wrenching torque, which it really has got. I mean, this thing pulls really hard, big, long, lazy gears. Uh, you know, it doesn't get any better for this style of motorbike. Standard, as you see it aside from the pipes. So you get your ape hangers, uh, your beautiful billet, uh, chunky triple clamp with conventional forks there, 16 inch wheels with Dunlop white wall tyres, spoked, uh, 300 millimetre rotors front and back, uh, stopping power is not too bad, it's pretty good, uh, ABS brakes as standard, um, overall you know you get it, you really do get a lot for your money. Basic dash, no taco of course, uh, nice white background, chrome surround, lots of chrome highlights on the bike all over it. So what's the bike like to ride? Seating wise, uh, I find it very comfortable. You'll read mixed reviews. I'm 185 centimetres tall. I don't notice the height of the ape hangers that much. I love them. Um, they're very solid, so there's not much flexing in them at all, which is really good on the brakes and turning into corners. The seat's firm, but just right. I mean, you, I do not get a sore butt on this bike. I've been riding it and riding it and riding it. Suspension set up really well on this motorcycle. I've also read mixed reviews, uh, as you will, on the suspension. I'm not having a problem with it. The rear's firm, it's well damped on compression and rebound. The front forks are really well sprung and well supported, uh, especially with compression on the brakes. It doesn't collapse through the stroke or anything like that. Uh, it rides well over bumps, not really bumpy country roads, obviously, uh, where any bike like this is going to give your kidneys a pounding. But uh, on the open, smooth stuff, it's beautiful. And the medium, bumpy country roads, it's beautiful as well. There are a lot of positives on this motorcycle. First of all, it's the attitude of the bike. Wherever you park it, people look at it. If you're after that style of, uh, of motorcycle, uh, this is definitely there. It's ready to go off the showroom floor. You don't really have to do anything to it at all, except for the pipes. If you're gonna ride this bike, you have to wear a black leather jacket. You gotta wear jeans. You gotta wear a black open face helmet, I mean. Let's face it, if you jumped on this thing in a full race suit or even in a white textile jacket or something like that with a, with a white full face helmet, you'd just look like a goose and you might as well just stay home in my opinion. Um, I'm all for safety but you know, if you ride this, you know, you've got to rock the, full, the open face and the sunnies in my opinion. Um, you also need the pipes because when you fire the thing up, it's got to sound like it looks. It, it looks like it's got a lot of attitude and it sounds like it's got a lot of attitude. I'll fire it up so you can hear it. So if that doesn't sound like American muscle, old school muscle, what does? That 50 degree V twin, you know, that sounds good. And you can't beat that, that sound of that, that combustion explosion as the uh, exhaust valves open there. Fantastic. Overall, a brilliant motorcycle. Uh, I could ride this thing every day. I love it. Um, I don't really have much bad to say about it at all. You know, it's all a big lazy bike to ride around on and a hell of a lot of fun. So if you're interested in something like this, uh, I suggest you get down to your Victory dealership, jump on one and go for a spin and make sure you get to hear one or even ride one with the pipes on it because it makes all the difference. And uh, you have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel where you'll see lots more videos like this and check out our website bikereview.com.au over 100 tests, product reviews and lots more cool stuff. Have a great day.